marketing versus branding. Mm-hmm. So you know, a lot of people talk about marketing, you know, I want to do marketing. In your mind, what's the difference between marketing and branding? I think when I think of marketing, I think of the efforts to acquire customers or attention. And I think of brand, I think of what you're known for. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like brand is dictated by the person receiving the, you know, material. And I think marketing is like the act of attempting to do that. So it's like marketing in a way creates brand, whether for the good or bad. I think that I would co-sign that. Yeah. Because I think that um, advertising is a function of marketing. Yeah. And as Alex would say, advertising is to make known. Um, and, you know, part of the marketing activities is to, whether you're canvassing the street, the neighborhood, handing out um, protein goodies, um, or, you know, hitting people up in the aisles of Whole Food, you're making something known. Known, yeah. And you're doing agree. marketing activities. Yeah. And then people form an opinion uh, based on how they interact with you, and that becomes your brand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I would agree. The brand sits in the hearts and the minds of other people. Yes. I mean, you can you can walk the talk, and if it's aligned, that's ideal. Yeah. Right. If you say you, you know, if you are who you say you are, then that else is aligned. But sometimes it's not, and that's where you run into trouble. Yeah, I think that most more often than not that yeah. way. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you wanted to learn marketing. It wasn't happening at this gym because they were either old school or they just weren't into it. Then what happened? So then, I was competing at that point in terms of in bikini competitions, which were like just starting at that time. The division had just uh, opened. Okay. And this is for people who don't know this category. Yeah. This is not like um, something you do at the beach. This is like fitness competitions. It's Yeah, it's a fitness competition. You know, it's a, technically a sector of bodybuilding. However, it's the lowest for women. So it's, it's more of a, like a beauty slash fitness competition, if anything. Yeah. Um, so I was competing in those. I had a coach that was online and I was working with her. And she said... You know, I know you're doing all this stuff, but like, why? Do, what if we partnered? And I was like, wow, she was making a very good income online. Thought to myself, like, if I could make that, I would be like, that would be amazing. Mm-hmm. What and were you making at the time, by the way, ish? When I was at 24 Hour Fitness, I was making more. Like, I think I was making maybe like something like $8,000 a month, I think per month, because that was what I thought. Of them. Yeah. Uh, and then I think when I went to this new spot, I was making like 5000 because I like cut my prices. People had to move. I started taking their teaching their group classes. I wasn't like taking as much time to sell and have my own clients because yeah. I, but I knew I was like, I wanted to learn. So, yeah. and you were, you were in your twenties at that time. Yeah. I think I was 22. Okay. So 22 making six figures or almost six figures, right? Like um, yeah, just under a hundred. Not bad. Yeah. No, 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 it was not at all. Not in the bad. beginning, I mean like, and, but you have to understand, like I, I was there for 14 months before I left. So it was like short and sweet and you know, that was it. Okay. But, um, and you, uh, were you in relationships? Uh, were you, were you just focused on work? No, I was not in relationships. Yeah. Um, the context behind that question is, um, I know a lot of people who are watching this, they feel like they've got to choose between, you know, what are the, there's like three choices. Like, you know, you can have friends, you can have relationships, you can have a successful business, you know, whatever, choose one of those, mm-hmm. or choose two of those and not all of them. Was that your mindset or were you even thinking that way? I think that I... You know, I had been in a pretty low spot prior to maybe like the two years prior to moving there. So I had been drugs, alcohol. I was getting arrested all the time. Yeah. Um, You're messing your life up. Yeah. And I felt like at that point, I was like, I just need to work on myself. Mm-hmm. Because at this point, anyone that's going to date me, it's not anyone I want to date. And so when I moved out to California, I was like, I'm trying to better myself so that when I do want to date somebody, it's actually somebody I would like to date as well. Yeah. So that was kind of my focus at that point. Um, well, they say that you end up being with the person that you know is your equal in some ways, or you compromise. But yeah, yeah. So if you're trying to become someone, you know, you're thinking of this aspirational partner, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I wanted someone who is ambitious, career oriented. They had their own life, so it wasn't like a dependency thing. Yeah. Um, so I, uh, she, this online woman that is training me, basically, helping me with the bikini competitions, she proposed that. So on the weekends, I started helping build almost like a an online portal, which back in the day was very novel mm-hmm. to have an online portal with training information, all these things in there. And that was what I did on the weekends. And during the weekdays, I was training my clients and teaching classes. Mm-hmm. Um, hustling, just working. I mean, yeah, yeah. I didn't do anything but work. Yeah. Um, and I didn't really have any friends because I just moved there. Um, and most people drank or something. I was trying not to. So it was like, 
you know, I didn't really want to be around it at that yeah. point. And, and maybe we'll just give a little bit of the back story. I mean, you basically turned your life around. I mean, you have said and shared pictures on, I've seen them on Instagram where, you know, you were this kid who was not in shape. Yeah. And then you grew into this young woman who realized her potential and wanted to be something different and completely turned things around 180 degrees. Yeah. It's not I like you were always doing these, you know, no. competitions and you, you know, born with the perfect genetics. Oh, no. It was no. none of that. No, no, no. I was like, it was like transformation. Yeah. I was like nerdy kid, chunky, fat, not the best, like never bad at school, but never the best. Like I was just like mediocre, I guess. Um, and I think it was hitting that low when I let myself get to, you know, just incredibly overweight, drinking all the time, partying all the time, doing drugs, you know, not surrounding myself with people that I wanted to be, you know, that were conducive to anything productive in my life. Um, and I'm really grateful for it because I don't, you know, I think when, <laughs> I think motivation is created by lack. And so it's like, the more you lack something, the more you feel motivated, right? That's like, it's like if, if somebody has just eaten, they're not hungry, right? There's no motivation to eat because they're already full. Right. Um, and I think I was, I had so much lack in my life because of all the things I had done to myself that that's what created the fuel to turn everything around. Yeah. Um, and go so far in the other direction. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, oh, I'm going to go like a few steps and like, you know, just lose weight. It's like, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to compete in these competitions. I'm going to build an insane career. Like I just had so much motivation to go so much farther. So it almost felt like a slingshot. Yeah. Isn't it interesting though, that the momentum goes both ways. So like when you are starting to slack off or maybe not eat right or neglect exercise or start to indulge in something you shouldn't, it just gets easier and easier and easier to do that. And then all of a sudden you're at rock bottom. Mm -hmm. But then the opposite's true. You start like, you quit all that stuff and you're like, well, you know, I'm doing all this working out. I Now I need to eat right. That doesn't make yeah. sense. And then, well, I need to do this instead. I need, you know, it's just it, that momentum goes both ways mm -hmm. for better, or for worse. I think it's almost confidence, right? It's like you do one thing and then you believe you have the confidence to do the next thing. It's like, well, if I can work out, I can also eat a little bit better. Yeah. And I can also make these better. And I think the same goes in the opposite direction. Oh, I'm a piece of shit. I didn't eat right yesterday. Might as well not go to the gym. That's just, right. Yeah. Yeah. 100%.